Kenny, the cancer sniffing dog. Now the Sniff for Life project has expanded to a whole team of dogs. WVTM 13's Marley Martinez shows us how the science is progressing. It may look like a game, <laughs> but Sydney isn't playing around. Yes, <laughs> good girl. Sydney is one of six dogs learning how to sniff out cancer. She's part of the Sniff for Life project run by Lori Malone and Cindy Roberts, a project now more than a year in the making. It's just amazing actually getting down to training the dogs. Since Malone and Roberts received their certification as biodetection dog trainers last year, yes. oh. they've taken on two UAB interns and are communicating with teams nationally and internationally from Atlanta to Finland. The end goal of the project is to be able to successfully um, prove scientifically that the dogs are able to find the target yes. odor uh, being one of the cancers that we're attempting to study. The pair plans to train the dogs to sniff out essential oils for the next couple months before moving on to live cancer samples. It takes time, it takes training, it takes um, proof, and then once we come up with our results, they'll have to be peer reviewed. And to those thumbing their nose, Malone says that makes no sense. It comes from individuals that have said, my own dog came to me and alerted me to a mole on my leg that was cancerous, that was melanoma. I think now it's just scientifically documenting that, those anecdotal stories that have been there. Malone and Roberts hope to eventually train dogs how to sniff out other life-threatening illnesses in addition to cancer. In the meantime, they're looking for a permanent training facility. You can find out more information about the Sniff for Life project on our website, wvtm13.com. Lisa, back to you. Governor